Do you want to kick us off? Sure. Uh, Jürgen, seven disappointments to the top tonight after uh, a stunning finish to the game. There's there been a, a good deal of frustration before that as well. So how did you ultimately find that way to win this evening? During the game, we should have played more football. We had we, we told the boys in the first half, always when we played football, it looked really good. We were dangerous. That was fine. Newcastle did really well how they put us under pressure. They, they had to invest a lot, and I think we could see that, that it was really a lot in the last 20, 25 minutes when they started struggling a little bit um, with intensity. But um, it was we should have done better. I told the boys in half time um, that even before we won, won it down, it looked already a little bit desperate. There's no need for that. Uh, we were forcing it too early. We played too many long balls without the real, uh, real idea behind. We know all we play these balls, verge to move, for example, that's absolutely fine. They helped us a lot of times, but it's not always the case that Mo can just get him down and these kind of things and we need to prepare these situations better. And again, being one nil down is obviously not cool, but uh, was uh, the least of my problems in half time. So we showed the boys if we do specific stuff, play the extra pass, then we can cause some problems because they took in their defending some risk, how they moved to one side. Uh, and when we had ball was left and it really put us under pressure there. If we could get out there, then the spaces were immediately there. So we scored the equaliser. Um, and then it was just a difficult game to play because we didn't play a lot. I mean, all of your colleagues ask me now about it. That's why I mention it. Everybody asked me about it. It was just interrupted constantly for some reason. <laughs> and that doesn't give you the momentum. Um, and also no chance to gain any kind of momentum. So in the end, um, I was really happy in a moment when we when we got this last corner uh, in the 98th minute. And yeah, what Mo and Fabio made then of it was obviously absolutely outstanding. A wonderful goal, perfect moment that we scored in after 98 minutes. I thought is the perfect response for everything what happened during the game. How big a moment is that for a young player like Fabio as well to be the, the game winner in such a situation? He scored now twice this week. This week now, what is today? Yeah, okay. In the last two games, yesterday birthday, so it's probably um, a better week for the little one. It's an outstanding player, wonderful talent, um, very mature in a lot of departments already, and um, so I'm really happy for him. So Harvey was best player on the pitch, and and Fabio um, decides the game. So that says a lot about the talent of the boys. The start start nature of the game appeared to lead to a bit of frustration. It seemed to be a bit. I, I, I didn't see it honestly. I just I turned in this direction to celebrate. I think we saw what happens there more or less. When I turned around, I was surprised <laughs> about what happened on the other side. So I cannot really say anything about it. Finally, can we I don't think so. But um, as long as it's time, we should not. Um, we should not close the door completely. Um, obviously, handle. He was injured. Um, he got a hamstring, um, which is absolutely not helpful. So um, I don't think so. Any more, James? Yeah, well, just on, on Harvey. He seems to have gone to the next level so far this season. Big development for him. Is there anything in particular you've worked with him, or have you seen this in his development? Just a year older, um, and more training sessions, his legs, more games played. He had, I think, he started an exceptional season last year. He did. He played a similar level. That's how it is. I cannot. I cannot now compare. it now already better than last year. We are more influential for sure. But he is a midfielder. He is a, a guy we need on the ball and these kind of things. So no, he did really well. Um, There's nothing particular we work on it. Like we said, okay, how we have to improve this or that. It's just um, for, the, for all the boys actually creating sessions where the boys get forced to make the next step. So that's it. Where you um, deal better with. Smaller spaces, higher tempo, all these kind of things, and especially for a midfielder who's constantly under pressure. Um, we have to do that, but you need a proper skill set for that to, to improve, and that's obviously that's obvious that he has that. Uh, what do you think this win can do for this team specifically? See what it meant for everyone to put on to win a game that kind of means more than six, nine times? Yeah, of course, we have to use any, it gave a massive boost. So, from a rather frustrating night uh, in a lot of moments to uh, 
one of the best nights we ever had. Um, that's how football is. So of course it gives a boost, but we, we can sleep now twice and then we play Everton. So um, we have to make sure that we use these two days really well. Um, but yes, last two games, six points, um, proper score line. So that's all positive. But everybody saw it tonight. We have to improve. We have to. The next game will not be like um, that. Um, Everton opens for us now all the gates and says, "Okay, you want to go here or there." So we have to fight through this as well. Um, and that at good isn't and not at home. So yeah, we know it will be tough. So we have to be ready for that. Tom. That serious that he couldn't carry on, so it was no tactical switch, change. See him last one. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's exciting, at least. Let me say it like this. Um, so we know that we have to improve. We really, we know that it's not. It's but it's. Um, how I said. When we played football, we were really good. Even tonight against an opponent who threw everything in between us and the goal. So that's the that's the truth, um, and that's what we have to do now: consistently playing football. And there are moments when you have to force it, yeah, but you cannot force it, force it, force it, and then hope all of a sudden you, you can start playing football. We need we need uh, obviously still um, to make a few steps to 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 be as good as we can be. And, and But the, the next game is a, will be a proper fight. I'm not sure we should think too much about playing football. So it will be a proper fight and we have to be ready for that and then uh, we will see what we get for it. So West Ham stand in a, in a good stead with Newcastle for a proper fight? Sorry? Will this game stand in a good stead for Derby with Newcastle for a proper fight in the second Yeah, yeah, of course. It's a perfect, it's a perfect preparation, preparation for the Derby, for sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.